Dahlia DiPolito, she's the Palm Beach, Florida woman who allegedly hired a cop unknowingly because uh, he was posing as a hitman uh, to kill her husband. And now in her retrial, she is facing 30 years behind bars if she's convicted. And the case went to the jury this morning. Prosecution says DiPolito's own words are what incriminate her. So I just want to make sure that, you know, this is what you want. All right? So you want to kill them, do Could we really have to? All right. You know, it's just, I'd rather be as less, you know, what I'm going to All right. So the defense uh, has an argument here. They say that the police were not looking for justice here, that the police instead were looking for some good, dramatic TV. This case is 100% on the egregious misconduct of the Boynton Beach Police Department and how they used Dahlia DiPolito as a pawn to generate good reality TV. Jason Brody is Michael DiPolito's divorce attorney. Michael would be that husband that um, might have been dead if that hitman were real, allegedly. Uh, he joins me live now from Boynton Beach. Uh, thanks so much for, for being with me, Jason. So there was this weird thing that happened at, just before the, the jury went off to deliberate. It was like a bombshell. People have been following this case, and most people, if not, I would say all people, had no idea that Dahlia had a little baby. Um, did, 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 did you know about that? Was this a surprise to you? Was this a surprise to her former husband? Thank you for having me again, Ashley. I appreciate it. Uh, to answer your question, there was reports back, I believe back in April, that she had had a baby. There was social media talk about it, so it was widely speculated, and, and uh, we believe those reports back then to be true, and they are obviously confirmed for everybody today. In closing arguments, albeit not during the case, but in closing arguments, not to separate a mother from her child. Is that upsetting to your client, to Michael? Michael wants to move on from this whole thing. This is a seven-year nightmare for him. He, 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 enough is enough. He, she's, she got tried and convicted the first time. Unfortunately, right now, we're going through what appears to be a possibility of a hung jury and dragging yeah. this on longer and longer and longer, and a third trial could possibly be on the horizon. I am sure at this point, there's a lot of second guessing going on about what could have been done, what should have been done. Monday night, Monday morning quarterback, as you would sure. say. Um, but it, what it is is in the fate of the jury now. It's up to them, and uh, they're pretty deadlocked. And hopefully tomorrow that they can come back and get to the point where they find her guilty. So Jason just mentioned this, that this uh, mention uh, from the jury, a note came out earlier today saying we are kind of hopelessly not able to come to a unanimous decision on this the judge said sleep on it uh, that's the nice way of saying go home get some rest come back give it another go and then there'll be something called a dynamite charge really officially called an allen charge where he officially tells them they have to go back in and deliberate stand by for a second jason if you would um, Guys, I want to bring you back into this conversation. Uh, David and Joey are still with me. I, I was really surprised. This is round two for the state in trying to convict Dahlia on this. But they only had two witnesses. Uh, and Michael didn't take the stand. Is this a, will there be regrets? I mean, do you, second guessing later on is always, a, you know, a, a famous parlor game. But... Yeah. Well, the answer depends upon what happens in the case, right? <laughs> what the jury ultimately yeah. does. Do they convict? Do they not convict? And I think the defense certainly had a very effective strategy, and that strategy was as follows. When you arrest people, you do it because there are just reasons behind it. You don't stage a scene. You don't have it taped by cops. You don't otherwise, you know, get all of the production people out there, and then you use it for purposes of reality TV. I think that's very uh, effective. I get you. I, I get you. But... You know what? Uh, I gotta say, it might have been a production, it might have been a show, but she's on tape saying and these things. Right? She's, 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 technically, she's yeah. technically on tape, but when the jury hears about domestic violence and domestic abuse, and then this person, this, this person goes to the police to say, I've been abused by my boyfriend, 
uh, you know, then the police turn around and set her up with this. There's something wrong with that. And the defense's arguments resonated with that jury that it could be an abuse of power. So you know, I'm I think not they, they were bit. saying a lot. Listen, the defense was also saying a lot about, uh, you know, omission Th of that's video. That's the issue omission. right there. And let me sum it up because i got to wrap that's up. That's the but issue. The, the defense, right. in a nutshell, said, look, you're seeing a lot of video and it's ugly, but you're not seeing all of it like the time she was trying to back out. And there's no evidence of that, but they're also saying, well, we have some claims that there were other conversations. But the fact that is, actually, there could have tape. and should have been evidence, but it mysteriously doesn't this exist. Yes, they need okay. to see the whole the video. There's we're no going to watch it, about. guys. We are on this. You know what? We've been in every day waiting to find out round two. Could there be a round three for Dahlia DiPolito? Stay tuned. Um, a lawsuit. Against